Can I have a heart, please? I'm only down to one. Oh, no. So that's a no. Well, I guess we're doing this on one heart. <laughs> on the hardest difficulty. Let's go. Hello, hello, everybody. My name is Nick Fox, and welcome back to Cult of the Lamb. My goal for this video is to get past Leshy, which is the bishop at the end of the first dungeon. But before we get on with that, I got a little bit of housekeeping I gotta do, so let's catch up on that real quick. Food supplies is the utmost importance, so I gotta take care of that real quick. There we go. You look like you need help. I'm gonna help you chop down this tree. There we go, give me all that lumber. While I was doing that, I noticed all of this. Oh, this better be important. You are truly great leader. Wouldn't this place look nice? I am trying to clean it up. Great, now I got to build decorations. Yeah, I know it's disgusting. Don't do that to me. I'm gonna complain about how dirty this place is. I don't see you helping me clean it up. Build a couple decorations real quick. Take care of this decoration quest. There you go, thank you much. Alright, interact with the follower, perform a blessing, give a gift, and increase loyalty until they level up. I can do some of that right here. Awesome, thank you. And I get to unlock a new building. Oh wait, no, I get to unlock the cult level 2. Nice. Alright, upgrade my shrine. Awesome. Did I just get a new fragment too? I got a whole new uh, commandment tablet. Awesome. Okay, what am I gonna get here? Start with work and worship. Looks a virtuous follower. Faithful, generate devotion faster or industrious, increase work speed by 15%. Uh, I'll get faithful, why not? Level up the base a bit faster now. I don't need to give a gift. First, I gotta go get a gift. And then get those over at Ratau's house up here. Hey, Ratau, I'll come to steal your things and give them to my followers. I hope you're cool with that. You discovered my humble cottage. Be careful you don't make the same mistakes I did, or you'll end up in a place just like this. Now, perhaps a game of knuckle bones. You don't know it? Why, it's simple. Step up to the table and I will show you. I'm going to play a mini game? Oh, I'm going to take this gift first, though. Right, let's check this out. I actually know how to play this, and it's very luck based. <laughs> if you stack two or more in a row, that gives you more points. If I stack something that they had on like the adjacent, it gets rid of it. Hopefully, I can show you guys that. Yeah, so if I put this three here, it takes away his three and any other threes he has in that column. Uh, he just took away my five. How dare you? I honestly don't remember if you get anything particular for this, but it's fun to do. <laughs> I won because of course I did. <laughs> oh right, you get tarot cards. I forgot about that. Alright, sweet. So now when I'm in a dungeon and I get a tarot card, I could potentially get one that gives me an extra heart. Nice. No, I'm not gonna gamble now, Retalia. I'm not gonna take all of your money. New day dawns as I get back to the base. Who broke their bed? Who slept so hard they broke their bed? Why would you do that? Here, you get the gift. There you go. Oh, it's like a muffin. Oh, that's nice. Time for the daily sermon. Let's go. Alright. 
I think that's gonna do it for housekeeping for now. Now we can go ahead and head out into the dungeon. I think I've gotta go through this two more times. Oh no! I'll be awaiting you in my temple. Come witness true power. Sure. Let's see what you're made of. And of course it gives me a dagger. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I thought I still had another, uh... Another run to go before I had to fight Leshy. Gotcha. Alright, what buff am I gonna get this time? Extra half a heart? Yes. I'm gonna take that over a better chest loot because I'm about to fight a boss. Alright, first area clear. Let's see, let's take a look at the paths here. We have tarot card, a follower. Another follower? Wow. Then Leshy. Alright, we have food, hearts, a lumber. Let's get the tarot card. Let's see what we can get. 10% chance to crit or receive double health. Uh, I'm gonna 10% chance to crit. That's not great, but... The followers, too. Oh, you look fun! They're all dead. Oh lord, how could I again? Do you see it in me, the darkness in my soul? Yes, and apparently I like it! <laughs> Thank you, master! Uh, please don't tell me I'm going to regret that later. <laughs> oh. Tiny pathetic creatures, but so tasty. For two gold? What's a steal? And here we go, the last section. Got here a lot faster than I thought we would today. Ooh, more of you just like to drop in from the ceiling, huh? Um, let's see if we can get a new weapon over here. What you got? Cedar blade, hostate's creed. Yes, I will always take the axe. I love the axe. It was my favorite weapon in this game. Oh, what now? Oh, what's the matter, Leshy? Are you scared? Your persistence is beginning to annoy me. You may think yourself clever, you may think yourself righteous in your service to him, but you should not be so trusting of the chained one. Well, it's too late for talk. One such as you deserves no absolution. This will not end well for you. It wouldn't have ended well for me anyway! You chopped my head off! This axe does the deeps, by the way. I am just slaughtering these dudes. Hello, fish man. Keep your hands off my fishy, or your eyes off my fishies. There ain't enough for the both of us. The best fishing can be found at Pilgrim's Passage. Neat. Check that out later. Can I have a heart, please? I'm only down to one. Oh no. So oh, that's a no. Well, I guess we're doing this on one heart. <laughs> on the hardest difficulty, let's go! Uh, God, he's got teeth! Oh. Alright, as long as I don't play stupid, I should be fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I forgot those go all the way to the end of the map. Holy crap. 
Or did I forget that, or is that just a thing I didn't I didn't know? I don't remember. Been a hot minute. Oh! Don't scream at me. Whoa, ho! Oh, shake the whole screen, why don't you, big guy? rolled right into that. I don't like that I can like hear myself getting crits, but I don't feel like I'm doing any more damage. I know I'm doing more damage. Statistically, I am doing more damage. I am watching health bars go down faster, but I don't feel like I'm doing more damage. That's because all of my crits are proccing when the things are already almost dead. Whoa. Come on, Leshia. I almost got you. Whoa. Oh, you are one hit away. Come on. Smack. Yeah! I got an achievement for that. How did I get an achievement for that? I've beaten this before. You've taken the beating heart of a heretic. The Red Crown can feast upon this heart to unlock new crown abilities. This is the altar to unleash the true power of the Red Crown. A chain destroyed. Give me my loot. Follower form. I'll take that, thank you. Fleshy trophy. That'll look good on my mantelpiece. We're feasting on Fleshy Heart tonight, boys. Let's see, what do I unlock with this? So these two, I've noted, or at least for me, are the most useful. Like, this is just like an out. Because normally if you die, you lose, like, either everything or a whole lot of materials. I don't, I don't remember if it's, like, 90% or 50% or something. Then darkness within. That's just an extra heart. Like, if you take damage with a diseased heart, then it just damages everything on screen. It's just thorns damage. It's awesome. These other two are okay. This one's pretty useful, but it costs followers. The only thing I don't like about it. I'm going to go ahead and get Omnipresence, because that's just... That has the most, like utility overall. Fix my farm up a little bit here. Bunch of seeds in there. Alright. Now one of my followers can plant seeds automatically. He's good. Less work for me to do. <laughs> What's up, crazy psycho guy? What are you, faithless? Generous <laughs> devotion, 15% slower. You know, if that's your only debuff, I'll take it. Now you only cost me two coins, so were you a steal or were you a ripoff? Work and devotion generations be reduced by 10%. You were probably a ripoff. The noise dissenters when they preach. Alright, you're fine. You're more XP during sermons anyway. Can I help you? I would love some of the flowers from the Darkwood Dungeon if you could collect some. Yes, but I'm not doing it right now. I love this guy. He asks me to do something, and then he immediately starts planting food. It's like, please do this thing for me later. I'm a good citizen. Do I have enough? Is it time for another sermon? I guess it is. These days go by pretty quick when you keep busy. <laughs> I'm going to get more fervor. I use a lot of spells. And one more divine inspiration for the road. We're gonna get the missionary. This is absolutely a must-have. Can we build it? Probably not. I don't have any lumber. 
No, I need 14 more lumber. <laughs> and I guess before the episode lets out, let's go check out Pilgrim's Passage, shall we? Hello again, Fishman. Fishing time. Oh, 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 I think we got one. Yeah, what do we get? Enemies now have a chance to drop a fish if I pick up this tarot card. Okay. One more sermon for the road. That's not going to be enough. Not quite. Oh well. We'll take it. That's going to have to about do it for me for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like to let me know. Leave a comment down below to let me know what you think of Cult of the Lamb so far. We're three episodes in, one dungeon down, three more to go. And they're only going to get harder from here. <laughs> one more thing before I forget. I found out I can how to do this. <laughs> It's so amusing. I always I always heard there was a bleat button, but I could never find it. It's clicking the right stick. <laughs> it's adorable and I love it. Anyway, thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.